Pet TV addicts, I'm Rosanna Tavares. And I'm Lindsay Klub. I'm filling in this week for Kimberly Caldwell. Coming up, Big Brother All-Star Marcellus Reynolds is here to give his thoughts on this week's Big Brother 10 drama. But first, although Cycle 11 of America's Next Top Model doesn't premiere until September 3rd, the big news this week is the inclusion of the show's first ever transgendered model. Yep, while Tyra and company have been infamous for calling some of its female contestants tranny messes, in the past, Isis, a 22-year-old former receptionist from Maryland, describes herself or himself for that matter, as a woman born physically male. Yes, well, I guess we're going to have to change our feedback, Tyra, <laughs> concerning what people look like when they seem a little masculine, because now we have someone who's transgendered. So tranny mess is not going to work so much. Not at all. No. 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 So. All right, you guys, the Big Brother house guests continue to bicker and fight like 10-year-old girls in a middle school dance. Now, this week it was Keisha's turn on the meltdown train. Call us crazy, but we don't think she's the biggest fan of fellow blonde April. Take a look. So. Look at me right now. I look like a crazy person. But I don't want you to walk out of the room. I don't like her. You guys are all blaming Libra, and it drives me insane because I'm like, oh, because you know what kind of person she is. Libra would admit to what she's done. That girl will blame it on everybody else. I can't play the middleman between crazy and crazier. Here to discuss all your favorite house guests, put your hands in the air for Big Brother All-Star Marcellus Reynolds! <laughs> oh my god, you must feel so sane right now after being on these shows twice and, um, and witnessing these ridiculously crazy people th this season. You know what, it makes sane people insane, that's all I can say about it. But it you literally never got to that experience. point. Oh I yeah, it, there were you? moments where it was like... Oh my God, I'm going to hit you. But then you know that you can't hit someone because they would toss you. But right. you get to that point where you're like, I just want to pound you in the face so hard right now. I can't imagine. And Libra was sent home. What do you think her main mistake was in the house? Libra was actually one of the best players at the beginning of the season. And she was very, very astute. She really had a really good handle on the game. Her mistake, though, was she couldn't, like, toss the bomb, and then walk away from it. She had to be in the middle of yeah. everything that was going on. If a fight breaks out that has nothing to do with you, go lay down. Stay out of it. Get yeah. the hell away from it. But she hear, like, confrontation, and she's right in there, she's got the finger waving, and da-da-da-da. And she already had that black girl thing working against her in a way that, you know, the Omarosa factor. Right. What right. do you think about she's Michelle very intelligent. A, a bad mom, though? That was kind of, that was low. You know, that seems to be the public sentiment where she's concerned. You know, she, you, she just had five, she has five-month-old twins, she has a four-year-old, and she goes away to compete for Big Brother. But I say to that, if it was a man, exactly. no one would have a problem no, at all. Exactly. You Thank know? you. I thought the same thing. I think it's a little sexist. I think it's like, you know what, who, who, who else, how many times in your Life, do you have a chance to a one in 13 chance at winning a half million dollars right and ironically she's doing it for her family exactly so three months of sacrifice while the husband is at home taking care of the kids is not a big deal what I love is she takes the in the um, in the um, in the veto challenge she opens this thing up and she has the red unitard that she would have to wear for a week now she just had babies and she's still carrying that pregnancy weight <laughs> Idiot. Of course she took the Hawaiian vacation <laughs> from would. Michelle. And everybody's upset that she didn't take the letter from home. Her kids are four months yeah. old. They can't well, write. <laughs> How do you think you would fare in this season's household? Oh, I, you know what? This would be my season. Because I would be smart enough to, to just let that. them yeah. bicker and stay the hell out of it. Yeah. And be really neutral. And you're going to see players like Ollie, who like just, they're like wallpaper. They just, just sit there. Everybody's going insane. And he's sitting there like... Or Memphis. Memphis is literally doing his nails while the girls are pulling each other's hair. Right, that Those fly are the under the radar, yeah? Totally. This is that season. Well, let's speak about some more vocal uh, bickering, which is Jerry versus Dan. So oh. tell us your opinion on that, because I, I, I have my opinion on it. I'd like to hear what you think, the and then meanest, I'll, I'll share. The meanest old codger in the game ever. And at first, were you like... Oh, I really like him. No, sweet. I never liked I him. I did. I did. I wanted to be my grandpa. I never liked him because <laughs> I've lived with the old guy two times, and the old guys are always mean. They always monk for the camera. You can tell, like, they're like about to when the camera's on them, they're like, oh. And the next thing you know, like, they're like full tilt boogie crazy because they want to parent you. And I'm sorry, I got a mama. 
I don't need you to tell me what to do. What'd you think about him calling Dan Judas? It was like one of the craziest moments in reality history. Because here's the thing, Jerry, you did the exact same thing that Dan did the very first yeah. week. Kind of hypocritical. So how, how, do you, how do you justify that? And, and this game isn't about religion. This game isn't about, oh, I'm a Marine. These things don't make you like the moral compass of the world. Right. You're just a contestant it's a game. competing for money. Although I, I will play the devil's advocate, no pun intended here, that Dan really was kind of touting his religion and then went ahead and, and started playing a little bit more underhandedly. And I think that kind of conflicts with his belief system. However, you're right. In this show, all those things get put on hold, let's say. We take off the chain like he did, right? Yeah. Well, that is I was like, like what? faux drama for me. It's like, oh, I'm about to do something bad. I'm good. And that's like the gay stylist is like, oh, now we take off the cross. Yeah. And should the cross be bigger? You know it's not Tiffany. Um, yeah. Are you supposed to hold on to that belief system with or without the jewelry? I'm just saying. Well, the only book that they let you bring in the house is the Bible. So, you know, whether or not you're religious, you end up reading it no matter what. I'm really a Catholic school teacher. Oh, I, I, I don't think so. That's what they say. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't Alrighty. know. It's it's like some things you just step out of. It's like for three months, I'm going to suspend this whole like what I believe in, who I am, because it really is just a game. If we were on the schoolyard playing marbles and I hit <laughs> out your like rider or I don't know marble terms, would you be angry at me? This is a game, you know? What this do you think about like, all the fights this season? It seems like there's more fights this season than, than ever previous, before, right? Ever. That's crazy. Ever before. Well, you can't get that many girls that are that similar, I think, and, and yeah. close in age in the same space because there's going to be jealousies. And the problem with Big Brother, especially with women, is women can't ever group together. You know, if there's ever a man so around, they're naturally gonna wanna glom onto the guy. And so then you get this whole layer of like, well, I'm cuter than she is. Well, I'm sexier than she is. Well, who does she think she, are, she is? And those shoes are better than my shoes. And it's like, get there and play the game. I also noticed, though, that in previous seasons, you had a mix of girls that are a little shyer, a little less uh, forward with their thoughts. Exactly. And you have all these alpha females in there. And it's like, I'm going to give you my two cents. I'm yeah. going to give you my five cents. It's like, oh, they're <laughs> like, oh, crazy. It's the craziest. And it's distracting them from the game. Yeah. Libra was set up, I think, in a very good position at the beginning to, like, go to the end. Here she is. She's in the midst of everything. Keisha, I think, has a shot at winning still, but can't pull it together. She's all yeah. over. We'll see what happens, you guys. Yes, Thank you will. so much for coming back, you guys. Big Brother airs Tuesday at 9, 8 Central, and Thursday and Sunday at 8, 7 Central on CBS. Now, still ahead, Project Runway gets a visit. Bye. Bye.